Well, hello, my beautiful Leo. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your singles love reading for mid-March right through to mid-April 2024. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I will never ask for personal details. And I'll also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful. There's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. <coughs> Okay, my beautiful Leo, this is your singles love reading. I'm going to get uh, your overarching energy first and then follow it with a Celtic cross just to see who is coming in your way. Uh, but I want you to be aware that this month it's going to be a very unusual month when it comes to love because Venus is actually hidden in the sky and that pretty much means that it's not uh, as visible as it usually is um, and it doesn't mean that love is not available it just means that um, it'll be a little bit harder to find so I do want you to be aware of that um, so let's see what's coming in your way it's a very unique relationship that makes its way in a Venus hidden uh, path so I want you to be aware of that it's not impossible it just means it's it's a little bit more of a slow burn relationship than usual. So let's see what's going on here for you in particular. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? Um, okay, so um, first of all, I can see with the death card there, transformation, you are going through a major transition in your personal life. Uh, I definitely see some of you are learning the lesson about confidence, value. I know sometimes people, you know, they uh, think that Leos are super confident and flamboyant all of the time. And that's just not true. You know, we all have moments of feeling a little bit of doubt or a little bit of, uh, you know, um, nervousness or anxiety or insecurity. And I feel here that some of you have been really looking at that, but you've been building your confidence. Now, it can be that some of you went through, um, you know, a very difficult breakup, whether it was a couple of years ago or months ago. And I feel like you have been healing from that. Uh, some of you with the higher calling card there, you've been focusing more on your life's purpose path, really doing you and healing from past experiences. But this has helped you to learn more about yourself and to step into that sense of empowerment and confidence. Um, now, your first card, as I said, is transformation. So you're making some big changes. You're not the same Leo that you were a couple of years ago. I feel like you've definitely matured. You maybe want even different things in a relationship now than you did many, many years ago or a couple of months ago even. I feel with this card, this is you breaking old cycles as well. So some of you, you may have been drawn to certain people or certain situations, and now you're noticing red flags, you're looking at your sense of value, and you're really looking at what you deserve in a relationship. Sometimes humans, you know, in general, not just my beautiful Leos out there, um, we tend to accept less than we truly deserve. And I feel like you're not allowing that to occur in your love life or in other parts of your life either. Um, the death card there, it signals change. Something big is ending here for you. And it's actually your single status because your outcome there is the lover's card, which means there is a soulmate, a high level commitment on its way. But I also feel like you have more than one option. OK, so we will get into that when we get there. But uh, your protagonist energy is to transform, to change. And I feel that you are in a cycle where uh, things are going to get infinitely different for you. OK, now we do have the um, judgment card. It's the higher calling card. It's in the resistance position. So it's like you got it in the reverse. Now, when you apply this to a love reading, it can indicate that some of you have been avoiding getting back in the dating scene or you've been reluctant to look for love right now because there's just nobody out there. No one really sparking your attention or um, 
You know, some of you, it could be that you've been hurt in the past and uh, you may equate love to pain right now until you heal. So I feel, take the time that's necessary to get back there. Uh, I feel actually you're doing something for you when you actually meet this new person because you have the Empress card there. Now, male or female, it's not a gender-specific reading. It's more about the energy. It's about taking ownership. It's about really, uh, you know, satisfying your own needs by uh, exploring your everyday, whether it's being more creative creative or booking events or whether it's a class of learning or doing something that is connected to your life's purpose, something you're called to do because this is your calling card to do something which really resonates with your heart and soul. And this is where you're going to meet the new person, okay? Now, also, of course, some of you have been focused on your true life's mission path. Sometimes we are blocked from relationships. You know, our guides step in to say, nope, you're not going to have any distractions at this time. You need to focus on your mission or your life's purpose path or a project. And some of you, this has been um, your own self-healing and really delving deep into knowing yourself a little bit deeper. So I feel, you know, some of you have been um, almost like on pause when it comes to love in order to. To, uh, sit with yourself and learn a little bit more about who you are, what you want, and really find joy in the everyday moment. Um, now, with the Empress energy there, some of you may be worried about age. I want you to be aware age is but a number, okay? When you're vibing at a frequency of wanting to draw love into your life, that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to draw someone in. And I feel like you are magnetic at this time. You're actually going to notice a lot of people noticing you. doesn't matter about your age. I definitely see, uh, you know, whether you are 99 or whether... Oh, that's really interesting. I just said 99 and then suddenly I saw in the water a heart with 99 written in it. Interesting. Okay, so um, I'm talking about age right now. So, uh, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're 19 or 99, basically. Um, if you're vibing at that frequency, you are drawing love in. Okay, and I definitely see that as your overarching energy. Some of you may have been single for a long time and a little bit nervous about uh, stepping back into the dating scene, but I get this energy that you're doing something that enriches your soul, and that's when you meet someone new. But that image, I mean, I'm going to describe it. It's like a red heart, and it's got 99 written in the center. So this could be a sign or a symbol that you're going to see over the next coming weeks or months. Um, I mean, it could be something that is really relevant to your situation. Uh, it could be very precise there. I mean, it could indicate that you're about to meet someone who increases your uh, heart rate. Uh, so maybe it's that. I'm not really sure how else to decode that for you. I mean, for some of you, it could indicate that you've had a heart chakra blockage and, you know, you've been going through a healing process where you are really getting to know yourself, reestablish a connection with a part of yourself that you felt like you lost touch with, especially after a breakup or a separation or a divorce. Some of you could have been going through something really that made you go, no, putting love on hold for a while to really focus on your own path. But now is the time to step into that sense of romancing your own life. And, you know, I feel like you're flourishing. The Empress energy indicates fertility as well. So some of you may be thinking, you know what, you want to have children, you want to settle down, and you may feel like the clock is ticking. Uh, but I do see a partner coming in. But what I see here with the transformation card is that you are taking onus on yourself to transform some part of your life. So it could be that you're going to embark on uh, new experiences, new travel, um, you know, maybe even picking up courses of learning. We will go a little bit deeper when we go to the Celtic Cross. But ultimately, this is about your sense of value and knowing that you deserve love, that you are lovable. Now, uh, some of you, uh, because of course I'm getting lots of energies, there's thousands of you out there, uh, the energy is like fighting to be heard, that's how I read. Um, some of you could have children already, and you're finding it really hard to have moments to yourself to really explore, uh, you know, going out there and finding someone new. And some of you may also be worried about, you know, meeting someone new, and it's not just you, it's also your children. So I feel like you've got a different viewpoint, but you're actually going to meet someone who, um, you know, really matches your needs, but also is on the same wavelength, someone who, you know, um, all of these factors just make them love you more. So I want you to be aware of that. Uh, this person who's coming in, this new person, there is unconditional love there, okay? Um, and um, this person 
they are highly creative, they have a beautiful, loving, warm heart, and they make you feel secure in a relationship. But you do this as well, vice versa. You have such a beautiful, pure heart, my beautiful Leo. And I feel some lessons that have come your way may have been a little bit difficult, but it's to make you stronger and to recognize that actually you bring a lot to the table of love and life in general. And you deserve someone who comes towards you in reciprocity. And sometimes... Now, don't shoot the messenger when I say this. Sometimes you may have given away your power in relationships, or you may have noticed that you connected to people who put their work or uh, their calling before love, and it almost like spun you off into maybe doing the same, because I feel like there was a little bit of a signpost there for you on what you were meant to achieve or the path that you're meant to be on, but now it's coming full circle, and now it's time for love, okay? Now, we do have the lover's card there. Now, at grassroots, the lover's card is actually about choice. It used to be called the choice card. But it really is an indication that, you know, you are choosing a healthier relationship this time around. Some of you, if you've uh, connected to toxic situations in the past, or even if you've not had a relationship in the past and you've just been solely focused on your uh, life's purpose, I definitely see that you're attracting someone who, um, you know, really raises you up, but also uh, you do the same for them. And I mean, the lover's card, I'm also getting this energy, opposites attract, opposites attract. So there's some similarities there. There's some common ground between you and this person. But also I feel this person is someone who presents a really healthy balance to your energy, okay? Uh, so this person, they may have a lot of earth in their chart. We will go, uh, as I said, and do a Celtic cross in a moment. Um, but I'm also picking up Scorpio energy, um, Aries energy, and uh, like Libra Taurus energy as well there, okay? But yeah, is there um, a soulmate coming in for you? The answer is absolutely yes, okay? So uh, I definitely see a very romantic bond there for you. Uh, really look out for that sign or symbol, a heart with 99 in it. I mean, it reminds me of a song, uh, you know, 99 Red Balloons, okay? But actually, I'm not hearing that song, so I want you to be aware. I'm clear audience and I do hear stuff, but that's not coming through. But, you know, I thought I'd mention it because maybe it's relevant, but... Um, if any songs come through for you, I will mention them as I hear them. Uh, so let's get to your Celtic cross. Um, we've got the Emperor. Uh, how would you like to receive? Thank you so much. We've got the Eight of Swords. Uh, we have the Four of Swords. And we have the Seven of Wands. Okay. So very cerebral energy here for you. Um, a lot of you are like thinking about your love life, uh, but only occasionally. I feel like you're kind of just, you know, on autopilot doing life. Sometimes you're thinking it would be really nice to have somebody. I don't feel like you are yearning because I feel you're very much with the emperor energy. It's like uh, you're strategizing for the future. You're thinking about your plans. Uh, you really are focused on, um, you know, your successful path. But also, I feel there's been a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. You've been super busy, and it's been hard to find a pocket of time for you to really focus on love life. So I feel some of you, this has been by choice, but I also feel some of you have just had so much on that at the end of the day, you're like exhausted, and uh, you just want to relax. Um, but I feel like you're going to be doing something creative that um, will put you in the path of somebody new there. Uh, we have the Two of Cups coming in. So that is an indication that there is love available for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? Um, we've got the Three of Wands. They want one more, so I will give it. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Going Angels. Can you please guide? Yeah. Um, so here we are. We have the Seven of Pentacles. So Seven of Pentacles also indicates uh, some level of choice or, um, you know, I feel like you meet this new person when you have either double booked your schedule or there is an event that uh, the date gets changed. There's something about the date of something that you're going to and it feels like um, either it gets rescheduled or you double book and you have to choose um, an event to go to. Intuitively, your guides are actually going to nudge you in the right direction to go to the right uh, event. But uh, there's something like that coming through. So just watch out for that. If you are booking some sort of travel or there's an invitation coming in, uh, there may be like a double booking. So uh, that may be an indication, a signpost to you like, uh oh, I'm about to meet someone really exciting and special. So I feel, you know, uh, intuitively sit with yourself and say, you know what, which is the right event to go to and you'll be drawn to the right one. 
Uh, but let's get to your Celtic cross. We've got the emperor. Life is pretty serious, okay? But also, this is an energy of you uh, adhering to your tasks and responsibilities. But also, I feel, you know, when you get the emperor card, it's an energy of you waiting for the one. You're waiting for a divine counterpart. You've got the Empress energy here, right? This is your overarching energy. So uh, we have a divine counterpart match. You know, again, male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy. So you're waiting for the one. You're waiting for uh, someone who is loving, caring, open, kind, passionate, all of the things. Um, but um, what I'm getting here is you're not going to settle for second best and absolutely you should not ever. Um, with the Emperor energy, I feel like you're planning on how you can put yourself in the dating scene without it being eggy or like weird and not organic. So I definitely see that you're doing something creative for you here is what I see. Um, with the Emperor energy, it really indicates that you've got yourself into a very established position where you can now look at having fun or opening yourself up to other paths. I mean, some of you, if you're an entrepreneur, for example, you may be super busy with your business, but you must remember to make time for you. Um, I actually feel like you're meeting someone who either has their own business or is very established in what they do. And uh, they're very fun to be with, but they're also serious about settling down. But this is your protagonist energy. You're so ready for a relationship. You've paved the way to accept love and allow love in. Um, with the uh, emperor energy, it can also indicate that you're looking for someone who is mature enough to know what they want, uh, that you don't want any time wasters. What's crossing you? We have the eight of swords. Very cerebral energy. Some of you have been feeling a little bit stuck when it comes to love. You may feel like there's no one really out there. Uh, some of you also may feel that people who are attracted to you tend to be a lot older than you and you're not really interested in them or there's no spark there. Uh, but what I am getting here is that the person who comes in is actually mature enough to know what they want, but also I feel either it's the same age. Yeah, I feel it's like the same age or maybe just a little bit younger, but... Um, I feel with this Eight of Swords here, some of you have a little bit of uh, worry that perhaps love is not coming in your way because the Eight of Swords, you know, the meaning of this, and I always give you the meanings of the cards, and I always say, please look up online what each card means because then you'll know that a reader is giving you exactly what uh, is true of the card. And I also read energy as well, so I'm getting different hits uh, as well there. But that Eight of Swords, it means, you know, a self-imposed restriction. So some of you could be like, you know what, I'm so busy, I just don't have time. And if someone said that to you and you were waiting on a text from that person and they said, look, you know what, Leo, I'm really sorry, but I just don't have time, you'd be like, well, then... I'm not your priority. So again, it's like love. Is it your priority? Of course, you've got other things to do in life, but there needs to be an energy exchange. There needs to be uh, you taking a step in a direction to do something to come out of a comfort zone in order to put yourself in a situation to meet new love. Now, with the Eight of Swords, it is in the resistance position, which is great because uh, it means you read both sides of the card. So the resistance position indicates you're liberating yourself out of a cycle of repeat or feeling stuck there. And uh, it's a very exciting time because I feel actually now is the time to um, breathe new life into your love life. There is a freedom here. So I feel there's a release of the past, a closure, especially with that um, transformation card, the death card there. I feel like you're leaving the past behind. I mean, the seven of wands in the past position can indicate you have been guarded or protecting yourself because of uh, circumstances. So it means you're at your personal best, but sometimes you overthink yourself. You may be a little bit more critical than usual about yourself. And I feel compassion is called for at this time. Um, now, what is below you? Four swords. You're in a healing state or you're in a very meditative state about what it is that you want. The four swords actually means that you've been protected. Okay, so there is a pause, a pause that came on purpose in order for you to focus on what you truly want in life and what is truly meant for you and not just in terms of love. Okay, uh, Four Swords is like taking a break. So I feel some of you, um, you may have decided to actually take a break on purpose to focus on alternative aspects of your life and you're finding clarity. Um, I also feel like you're uh, taking care of your own needs. There is self-care routines, healthier boundaries here as well and uh, a decision to put your own needs first, not in a selfish way, but in a very protective way, but also in a way where you're getting to know yourself better. Okay. 
But this is what's below you, what's on the physical plane right now. So you're in a single energy and what is above you is the page of pentacles, the start of someone new, someone that you're going to be curious about, messaging. Now some of you beautiful Leos have already met someone new because that emperor and the empress being so present in your reading, this is like the future uh, side. So some of you may have just met someone um, or you're curious about to see where something would go. If you're with someone or connecting or talking to someone right now and you're wondering how is it going to move forward. The answer is two of cups and the lover's card. This is the real deal. This is love. It's going to evolve into a high level commitment there. And I feel that uh, you and this person, it's really about, um, you know, a different approach to love you know, a slower pace, the passion still very intense, but I feel it's a slower pace, which means you build a solid foundation and you really get to know this person inside and out. There's a, a wonderful sense of vulnerability and intimacy about the relationship. And if you've not met someone and you're not talking to someone right now, this is what is to come, which is really exciting. What's in your past position? You have the seven of wands there, very guarded energy, protective energy. This only comes when you've had some level of trauma or hurt. So some of you have had some really difficult experiences when it comes to your journey. And I'm sending you a huge hug out there, my beautiful Leo. It doesn't always have to be about love. Some of you may have not been in high-level commitment relationships, and it may have made you felt really lost and wondering why. Some of you may have been bullied when you were younger, which robbed you of confidence or that sparkle. You know, um, when you start to get into a relationship or you start to have feelings for someone, it means you're opening yourself up to a level of intimacy that you are not doing every day, and it can make you feel exposed. And if you've had trauma like bullying, or you know, if you have witnessed parents or guardians divorcing when you were younger and you have seen that the foundation of love sometimes is not solid and someone could leave. There could be abandonment issues there. It's really about your journey and how it has influenced and affected your dating scene ever since. It doesn't mean that you want to revisit these ideas or these experiences. It just means that you've had some experiences that may have shaped who you are. And whilst they are important because they made you who you are, they are not holding any weight over your future happiness. So some of you are getting closure on those situations in order to build confidence and be your wonderful, bright, sparkly self, because that's who you came to this lifetime to be. You are lovable and someone is here on your path who is meant to love you. It is a soulmate, okay? that's coming in. We have the page of pentacles there. So this is about making the effort initially. And this I feel is um, your protagonist energy kind of where you are putting yourself out there um, to meet new people. But actually, I feel like the effort is more an investment in yourself first. So some of you, it could be that you are investing in a course of learning, or it could be that you're investing in a vacation, a quick getaway, a trip there, because you have that three of wands. Or it's like those invitations coming in that uh, you feel, you know what, normally I wouldn't go to this, but I'm being called to go to this. Suddenly you want to explore all eventualities. There are going to be some invitations coming in. For some of you, this could be a birthday or a wedding or a house party or something that you're invited to. Maybe even as the weather gets a little bit better, it could be barbecues and things like that. But I feel invitations are starting to come in your way. Remember, I feel like there could be some sort of double booking. And this is an indication that you are asked to choose which event to go to. And the one you go to, that's where your soulmate will be. Uh, the Page of Pentacles, it means investment from the very beginning. Someone who is going to come in, who is patient, kind, loving, who sees your value and your worth immediately. Now, you do not need validation. You do not need someone to come in and, you know, validate your worth. But I see that this person, right from the very beginning, they see you as like a gift. They see you as someone that they have been waiting for their whole life. And what do you have in the near future position? You've got the Nine of Cups, a wish delivered you know, Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. So whatever it is you're wishing for in a person, I am now hearing a song. Um, oh, I actually like this song. It's really, really cool. Um, it's, uh, okay, I'm only getting one line of the lyrics. Uh, Ooh, love to love you, baby. Okay, uh, I nearly sang there. Sorry about that. Nobody needs to hear that. Um, but it's a very famous song by Donna Summer. Okay, and uh, I don't really know the rest of the lyrics on that, to be honest. Um I just remember that. So this person, um, I mean, they could even be a singer um, or maybe this song is going to play over the radio or, you know, in your shuffle, 
by accident or, you know, you may be in the mall uh, when you hear it. Listen out for that song because I feel it indicates that you're about to meet someone new or if you're already talking to someone new, this is going to be a big deal. This person makes you feel like you're on top of the world, this new person that's coming in and vice versa. There is a reciprocal exchange here. There is an affinity with you and this person um, and the Nine of Cups just sort of underpins that uh, this is the one. This is the one that you've been waiting for and vice versa. Now, uh, this is your advice to yourself in this moment. Eight of Wands, get moving, take action, transform your life. This is a card that indicates that things are going to get a little bit hot and heavy. Things are going to change. This is a transformative card. Things are gathering momentum. So this could also mean that some of you have just booked some travel or you're planning to, and you could meet this person on an adventure or when you're traveling, okay? Because Eight of Wands is a movement card. Same with the Three of Wands there. But also the Eight of Wands is um, about um, you following your passions, okay, leading the way. And um, I feel things come to a bit of a climax. So if you are currently talking to someone new, um, I feel this person really makes some moves to show you that they're serious about a long-term relationship with you. And um, if you're not talking to anybody new, I feel this is about you taking action to put yourself on um, – either like a hobby or uh, a group, uh, an adventure of some kind where you meet new people. But this card, it literally means quick changes, news arriving, messages back and forth, and, you know, things developing um, at uh, a different pace. So I definitely see you're going to see some change there in your love life. Now, we do have the Hermit. This is the exterior circumstances, the circumstances beyond your control at this moment. We have the Hermit, which basically means that you have been in a solitary energy in order to know yourself on a deeper level. This is a very philosophical card about your inner truth, building knowledge, but also some of you have withdrawn from love because you were fed up of the dating scene or you were fed up with people not taking love seriously. Um, this is a card of feeling a little bit like so over the oversaturated dating environment. So I feel some of you, you know, you're looking for someone who's a little bit different, who doesn't come with the usual stuff, you know. So I feel this person who's coming in is actually very, very unique. But the month of March, um, as we move into April, I feel like your status will still be single. Okay, but I feel like you're meeting someone where it will develop into a high level commitment. But if you are talking to someone already, I feel like you and your person will actually um, talk about uh, things getting pretty serious and making it official. So I feel like there is like some sort of move towards an official uh, relationship there, like putting a bit of a label on it, right? Uh, now, of course, we have the Two of Cups there, signifying a high-level commitment coming in. Uh, two of Cups is a hope and a fear position. So I feel, you know, some of you, of course... You may have separated from someone in the past because you read the reversal as well as the uh, upright there. Some of you may have been disappointed in love. You're disinterested in getting back with that person. I don't see that you will return to that person. I feel like, you know, they left you feeling a little bit unsure about the relationship. Uh, some of you have been healing from this separation, even if it was a couple of years ago. You love hard when you love. You know, sometimes they say that Leos, they fall in love easily. That is not true at all. You have such a beautiful, pure heart and you are open hearted. And that sometimes is mistaken for people who just fall in love easily. No, you take people at uh, what they present. Uh, you're not judgmental. You're the sort of person who um, when you go deep, you go beyond. OK, and um, I feel like sometimes you need to just watch out a little bit for idolization of a partner, because when you meet a person, you see that they are the best thing since sliced bread. And that can inadvertently put them on a pedestal, which means you are inadvertently putting yourself a little bit below them. OK, so just watch out for that. It'll just tip the balance. Uh, this person is coming in for you. It's equal, okay? There is equal sort of, uh, I don't really want to say idolization, but I feel there's just this spark between you where you just both think, you know what, you're just great. You're just just what I've been looking for my whole life. But um, the two of cups in the upright indicates that you're hoping for a high level commitment. So this does connect in some way to people who have been talking to someone, you're hoping it goes in that direction, and it will. OK, uh, but there is a high level commitment coming in for you. And I feel that um, this is your happy ever after. Um, I feel like you'll marry this person. Some of you are hoping for that uh, to occur there as well. OK, uh, now my guides have just uh, said to me, it's not two of cups, it's ten of cups. Oh, 
did you just hear all those knocks? It's like, yeah, they've been shouting, like, look at the card, look at the card. Uh, they are right. It is a Ten of Cups, so uh, I stand corrected. Uh, but again, it's the same energy where, um, I mean, some of you, the main energy is, you know, there's a separation here. Some of you, it could have been a divorce, and it's been very painful and just sort of left you kind of like a little bit in a tailspin, and you've been sort of coming back after that, if that makes sense. Uh, but the Ten of Cups is that happy ever after. So uh, it, it indicates that you maybe are looking for marriage or a high level commitment, someone that you can build a solid foundation with, move in with. And I definitely see that that is happening there for you. So I just want to thank my guides. One moment, please. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, so I do apologize. I mean, I love this deck, but like um, and I wear glasses. You probably don't know that about me, but uh, I wear glasses. And even there, I, I thought it said two of cups, okay? Uh, I mean, the giveaway should have been that there's only one cup there, um, but it says 10 of cups, yeah, when I really, really look at it. So uh, I do apologize. I mean, the energy, I have to be honest, was the same. Um, so just a little bit different. Maybe that's why I got the you will marry this person um, on the end of that card when I put it down because uh, 10 of cups is marriage, okay? same as Ten of Pentacles is marriage as well. Um, so that's probably why I got that. Two of Cups doesn't mean guaranteed marriage, but Ten of Cups does. So I was picking up the energy, but, uh, you know, have to be honest, um, I was uh, corrected there, and I'm glad that I was. Um, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Let me just get that closer to my eyes there. Seven of Pentacles. Okay, now this is an alternative approach to uh, love. This also indicates a decision needs to be made. So I just want to see what that's all about there because I feel like you are manifesting what you um, want in a high level commitment. But the way I get it is that this person, they kind of look like someone that you kind of have a crush on. Now, this could be that uh, it's a famous person, maybe someone in the public eye that you kind of have a little bit of a crush on that you think, ooh, you know, I wouldn't mind having that person in my life. Um, and I feel this person, this new person who comes in is very similar looking to the person that you have a crush on. But also, I get a sense that you're going to meet this person in a way that you never expected. Okay, so... Um, uh, for example, <laughs> I don't know why I'm being given this, but I am, so I have to give you this. Uh, for example, you could be at an event where you're just waiting by the bathroom, and um, that person could be like coming out of the bathroom or into the bathroom or even waiting in the line for the bathroom. Say, for example, if you're going to a festival or you're at a party, um, and then you strike up a conversation, and it's like, I never expected to meet someone just by the bathroom. So, you know, I just feel like it's a very unusual place where you meet this person, but you're destined to meet this person. Anyway, uh, we also have the Three of Wands there, okay? Three of Wands is really about you being in alignment with your heart, um, having harmony, uh, falling in love with your own life first, and then, you know, being sent an option in love. But I feel like there's more than one here. I do feel like there's a choice. So let me just see what that is because at the moment, I'm only picking up on one person's energy. You know, normally I'll pick up on the two, but I can't pick up on the two at the moment. I'm only picking up on one. Maybe that means that as soon as you meet this new person, you're like, there's nobody else. I just know. Um, let me just see. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Going Angels. Can you show me that three of wands with the seven of pentacles? The devil card. Ooh, okay. Um, now, it could be someone who comes in for a potential fling, okay? Uh, the sensual chemistry, shall we say, is off the charts. But deep down, you know this person uh, may not um, be capable of um, emotional commitment. So, but, I, you know, I feel the new person that you meet, it's the one. So with the five of pentacles, you got that ten of cups again. I mean, this could be someone that, uh, you know, you have separated from or someone that you longed to be with, maybe an ex, but it was a struggle. Maybe there was addictions there or it was a toxic connection. Sometimes when we're about to get into something new, we start to reevaluate what we experienced in the past. Doesn't mean that you want to be with that person, but it may mean that, um, you know, you have thoughts about this person uh, that you hope that it won't turn out the same way. Um, it could also mean that this person feels when you're about to move on and um, suddenly they reach out. But the Five of Pentacles 
with the devil card, I'm actually feeling a more an energy of abandonment issues. Some of you may be, uh, you know, getting over that. Some of you may have been ghosted in the past, or there may be just a little bit of nerves regarding it, um, getting into this new high level commitment. But I feel like you have nothing to worry about. Ten of Cups is showing up there again. So I feel, you know, I can't honestly feel the energy of a second person. So maybe the choice is you're about to go really deep with a person and they're going to show you um, how much they feel for you and they're never going to make you feel very uncertain at all about how they feel. They're going to be true blue and wear their heart on their sleeve. Um, and maybe fear makes you think, oh, well, maybe something from the past may show up again or maybe I'm in a cycle repeat. And it may be a little bit of worry that makes you hesitant to get into a relationship and it's your choice as to whether you want to pursue it or leave it and move away from it. Maybe that's the choice because I can't, I mean, there, there's a potential of two people here, but the other person's energy is almost like non-existent. This one person that you're about to meet is overriding that all. So uh, I have to be honest, that, that's what I feel. So um, I will leave it like that. Uh, when you meet this new person, you will know instantly they are the one. And sometimes that throws up a very overwhelming uh, thought process and emotions um, when you're about to go deep with someone. So maybe it's that, but um, I'll leave that there. I'm just going to go and get some final cards. This deck is an incredible deck there. It's a personal power oracle deck by Dea Druitt. And uh, it basically details areas that you have been looking at healing or uh, areas that you're focusing on um, in your life until you find the love that you deserve and desire. Okay, as I said, there's a lot of responsibility. You've started with the emperor energy. Uh, I am responsible for my life. Okay, so that's about taking action. So for example, if you've been a bit of a homebody with that hermit energy, it can indicate that you've been uh, that for a little while. Uh, if you're not getting on online dating, then perhaps, you know, it's really harder to find love. Um, but I feel like you actually will uh, go to an invitation. There's something here where you're out of your comfort zone. You're out uh, enjoying yourself, having fun. And that's where you meet this new person. But you must take responsibility for that. For example, if you've been getting invitations and saying, yeah, I'd love to go. And then last minute going, you know what? I don't want to go. Um, you know, of course, honor your body and your energy in that moment. But if you've been in a cycle of rejecting uh, experiences, then it's going to be harder uh, and delay finding love uh, just a little bit more. And uh, we've got, I deserve respect. Okay. And you certainly do. And you're certainly going to have that in the relationship that is coming in for you. Okay. So I'm very excited for you all, my beautiful Leo. Uh, this is a time where you're attracting a uh, high level commitment. And um, I feel that, um, yeah, look out for that sign. Listen out for that song. These are signposts. They may mean nothing to you in this moment, but suddenly everything makes sense. And, um, Oh, okay. So we have um, the Birch Rune, and this is all about purity, becoming. So you've been in a period of transition, uh, a cycle of renewing your energy, also being a great parent if you have children. Uh, but also, um, if you are hoping to have children, you will be an incredible parent as well. Uh, but also, the Birch Ruin is really about planting roots and um, making sure you're stable before you open yourself up. And uh, I feel there's a strong foundation in a relationship coming for you. Also, we have the Bow and Arrow. Now, this can connect to Cupid's Bow and Arrow. could also indicate a Sagittarius-type energy coming in. But I feel like you're going to be right on target, okay? Um, and I feel there's a very... Um, direct energy. It's like you and this person, when you talk, you're going to know that you're always meant to meet. Okay. There's a conversation like that coming in. And we also have life ring. Okay. So life ring, I mean, rings, they always connect to uh, commitment there. Life ring, this is a partner for life. Also, there may be something to do with the sea. I mean, maybe this person has a boat or maybe uh, they are from abroad or overseas or perhaps you'll travel and meet this person overseas. So, uh, I mean, that's a, you know, uh, a great trinket to have there uh, that indicates that this person 
and you you're destined to meet and it is for life okay so i'll leave it there i hope something resonates in that reading for you my beautiful leo if it does please like or subscribe to my channel completely free for you all you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when i update my next message it lets me know that you resonate with the reading which is so important for me too thank you so much my beautiful leo and love and light